Hi, this is part one of um, my Lucas Graham Seven Years tutorial. Um, first thing I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to show you which notes are going to be used. Um, now, the, the, basically this, this shows you all the notes that are going to be used in this song. It's in the key of B-flat. B-flat has two flats, B-flat and E-flat, as you'll see. Now, as you, as you, as, as you can see, all the notes um, in this song, will, all the notes in the scale will be white. So C, D, E, F, E. Sorry about the noise, the banging, by the way. I hope it doesn't put you off too much. Um, the, uh, so you've got C, D, F, G, and A are all white. Okay, so whenever you play a C in this song, this just shows you what notes you're going to be using in this song. So um, it, whenever you play a C, a D, an F, a G, or an A, you're going to be, you're going to be playing white notes. However, you never play a B or an E, because whenever there's a B or an E, playing a B flat or an E flat, as you can see here, B flat and E flat. So this is the note you're going to use for this song. If you're ever playing a note that is not one of these notes, you're playing the wrong note, okay? Let me show you the scale quickly, just to show you what it sounds like. So the first note of the scale is B flat, then you've got C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, okay? That's all the notes you're going to be using for this song. So let's go straight into the song. Um, it begins with this little riff here, starting on the B flat. There you go, the top of the scale, B flat. You're running down the scale, B flat, A, G, F. And you skip the E flat here, and then you go to D and toddle between the D and the F, okay? So it's, let's do this together. So you're gonna put your little finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb, index finger, okay? So um, this is the um, counting involved in this. So you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This section repeats a few times. So uh, try this with me. So put your little finger on the B flat, um, then put the other, the other, the next three notes on the on the A, G, and F, and then your thumb on the D. So um, it basically goes. I'm going to count one, one, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? So make sure you're doing that with me. Rewind the, the, the video if you want to try that again. Um, as you can see, with the counting, you've got to count two counts one, two, three, four on the, these notes because they're double the length of all these ones. Okay? So that's how that works. Now, you're going to go one, two, three, four. The chord then on the left hand comes in on this thumb. Okay? Now, the chord at the beginning, first chord is a G minor, which is here. Um, and basically, to play any chord in a, in a key, a simple basic chord, which you need to know, it's very important. All music is based on chords, so you need to know how to make a chord. We'll try a D minor. So let's say you want to play a D chord in this key. Um, you simply put your your little finger on the D, which is the third note of the scale. You go, you always just go two notes up the scale, then you've got F, two notes up the scale, and A. And you can do that in any of these notes, and they'll make a basic chord. Okay, you can take a note, go two notes up the scale, go two notes up the scale again, and there you go. That's a basic chord. Okay. Now this chord is a G minor chord. It's a little bit complicated because it goes around the page, but you just put your little finger on a G. Go two notes up the scale. Now you remember it's it's B flat. All Bs are flat, so you're going to be doing a B flat. Then you go two. Let's go to this end now. So it's a B flat. And then go two notes up the scale, um, C D. So you're going to go G, two notes up the scale, B flat, and then two notes up again. So it's gap of one is an easy way of explaining. G gap, then a gap, miss one, B flat, miss the C, and D. Okay, that's the chord you're going to be playing. So it's, it goes. And as you put your thumb on here, you play that G minor chord, okay? Now, um, what I'm actually doing is, that rather than playing just a straight G minor chord, I'm actually using these three fingers and adding another G to the top there. Can you see that? 
So that's what I'm actually playing. But if you you might not be able to stretch a full octave, and it's a bit difficult. So if you're struggling with that, just do a straight G minor chord. So that's what I'm going to be playing. Um, the piano actually on the record. It took me a long, long time to work out what was happening on this recording um, because there's an organ and a piano playing, and it was really difficult to tease apart which um, instrument was playing which notes. So um, I'll show you. The piano actually is just playing this, I think. So just a B flat in that hand, and then those two notes like that. Okay. Very simple. The organ, though, is playing a G, octave Gs, with a D in the middle, so all from the G, G minor chord, so it's... And then, quite simply, these two Gs move to an F in the organ, so it's... Okay? Now, I, to try and incorporate all of that, what I've done is I've put the, played the three organ notes and the note in the piano, which is what I just showed you, okay? The second chord, you're going to play the D with the index finger again and then move back these two Gs to an F. So it's quite simple from the G minor. So um, let's do that together. So that's G minor, which you just did. You've got, you got the G minor with, with the little finger. I'm using my ring finger and index finger and then a G at the top. Okay. So you're going to go, if I bring this back. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one. Two, three, four. Whoops, sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As you come back to the thumb, you're going to move to the second chord, which is just these three notes. Um, basically, yeah, no note is playing a B flat at this point on the recording. So um, that's what I'm doing is trying best to represent what the recording's doing. Okay, so you're just going to go from the G minor. You're then going to play the D again, but you just bring these two Gs back to an F. So you're doing that. Try that with me, so it goes. From here it goes one, two, three, four, one, whoops. One, and oh, put the pedal down. Otherwise, it sounds a bit like that. Pedal, all the notes ring on nicely like that, okay? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Move to the new chord, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, just let me try this full speed. Twice on that chord. Okay, so so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, and that's half of what you're going to be doing for this half of the verse. So it's one. Do this with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Moving to the new chord. One, two, three. Then you go one, two, three, four, again, okay, and that takes you halfway through this first section, okay. You're then you've now got to here. Let's do that again. So um, coming back from the beginning, it's one, do this with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Four new chord, one, two, three, four, then back to this. Okay? I should have written this out fully, but that happens twice on the first chord. And then as it comes in the third time, you bring the second chord in, just that half there. So let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. New chord. Oh, sorry, twice. I keep forgetting. One, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, new chord. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So you're going to do that three times, and then on the third time you play the new chord. I should have written the whole thing out, but hopefully you'll get it. So let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Sorry. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, second chord. One, one two, three, four. Okay, my suggestion is just work on the left hand, get those two chords perfect. So you play that chord, then you're gonna you toddle on the hold down the index finger on the D, and then just move these two to F. Okay, so you do a G minor chord, hold down your index finger on the D, and then lift and play two Fs. Okay, I'll do it at full speed for you. 
and then we'll move on to the, then we will uh, finish this part and then move on to part two. So one, two, that's it. All right, one more time. So it's, I'm just playing full speed so you can hear what it'll sound like. Good. And one last thing, when you play the second chord, you got your pedal down. When you play the second chord, you must release the pedal and put it down again for the second chord. Otherwise, you get this horrible effect of all the notes sort of sustaining over the top of each other. It'll be like this. Actually, it doesn't sound too bad. But the, the, in theory, you're supposed to put the pedal back down for each new chord, okay? Um, but um, if you t that's quite difficult in the early stages, so you know, just hold the pedal down if you're struggling with that at the beginning. Okay, so that's the beginning. Um, if you now move to part two, I will show you the next half of this first section. So move to part two now.